Hey guys, so first of all, I'd like to thank everyone for subscribing. You guys are awesome. I love all your comments. Anyway, um, so today I'm going to show you how to do the famous game Cookie Clickers. This thing is in the top 20 right now. It's a little amazing to me because it's like the simplest concept of a game, but everyone loves it. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, it, today we're just going to talk about um, the tapping and the store, basically. So anyway, uh, without any further ado, here's the video. Alright guys, so all I did to get here was open up Game Salad and create a new blank project. So now let's... So change the platform to iPhone Portrait, or whatever you want. And I'm just going to set the title to Cookie Clicker 2. Go into our scenes. We're going to add another scene, and we'll call this Store. Store. Okay, go to our initial scene. I'm gonna add an actor. This will be our cookie. Another actor called number. Another actor called store. And one more actor called score. Go into our attributes. We're gonna add an attribute, integer, and this will be our score. Add another attribute, and this will be text. Name the text plus, or whatever you want to call it. This will be the number that pops up when you click the cookie. So we'll just say uh, plus one. Actors, cookie, sorry. Yeah, actors, cookie. First, we're going to just change the color to a darkish orange color just so we can differentiate it from everything else. I'm going to say spawn actor. I mean, add a rule that says actor receives event, touch is inside, spawn actor, actor number, position game dot position I'm sorry, devices.mouse.position.x and devices.mouse.position.y relative to scene. Okay. Now we also want to change the attribute. Change attribute game.score to press the E. Game.score plus forgot to add another attribute so let's go home go to our initial scene add an attribute and we will call this um, an in this will be an integer and we will call this uh, score plus and this will be the number that you add when the cookies clicked Okay, now let's go to our actors again, go to our, go to our cookie, so press the E again in the change attribute. So game.score plus score plus. Game.score plus. Okay. Now let's go back. Oh, actually we want to save the attribute. So save attribute. Click the three three dots game dot score for store uh, score for the key score or just that's just the key word that you save it to so you can load it up later now let's go back drag over our cookie double click on our number change the color to opacity to zero Say display text. Display text. Press the E. Drop down arrow. Game dot game dot plus. Okay. Now we did game dot plus because we're going to change this later when we buy stuff from the store. Okay. Let's go back. Preview this. All right. I forgot to add something into the number. Um, 
we need to add a move to action. Move to e game uh, number dot position dot x, and we will set this to seven hundred. Set the y to seven hundred or anything off the screen, and just add a timer that says after three seconds we want to destroy the actor and run to completion. Okay, now let's go back, preview this. So there you go. You click, it adds the plus one, and it's also changing the score, but I need to add that in. So this will display the text. I clicked on score or score actor, and this will display the text. Click the E, game.score. Okay, now let's preview this. I'm sorry, I forgot to drag it over. So actually, double click on our score again and set the opacity to zero so we can actually see the text better. Now let's drag over our score. I'm just gonna put it in sort of in the middle of the screen. Okay, preview this. And there you have it when you click on there. it changes the score and it's also a doing the plus one action okay now double click on our score store actor sorry oh whoops i mixed those actors up actually so i'm just going to rename these real quick okay okay now Let's double click on our store actor. Add a rule that says actor receives event, touch is released. Then we want to change the scene. So change scene, go to scene. I like to be specific about the scene that I like to that I go to because it makes it easier later on. So store. Now let's go back. go to our scenes store and we're actually going to add another actor we'll call this button double click on our button set the size to 200 by 50 and add a rule that says actor receives event touch is released that way, if the person touches it, it doesn't automatically take away their points. But when they release it, that's when it takes away their points, and it seems more natural. Okay, so touch is released. Then we want to change the attribute. So change attribute game dot score to game dot score minus ten. And I actually forgot to add another rule that says if it, if they have enough points, then it would happen. But if they don't have enough points, then nothing would happen. So put that put the attribute that we just the change attribute that we just created into the rule. And now let's say the rule says game dot. If the game dot score is greater than or equal to. 10 then you can actually buy something now we want to so it changes the attribute now we want to save the attribute we're just gonna put that outside of everything just in case uh, game dot score for key and that is the key you created earlier, which is score. Okay, now let's go back. Drag over our button. Drag over our score so we can see the changes. And we're gonna drag another button over real quick. This will be our back button. So double click on our back button, edit, and just deleted everything inside of there. 
add a rule that says actor receives event touch is released then it will change the scene go to the initial scene now let's go back and let's preview this so oh i forgot to add something that actually goes to the store okay so drag over our store attribute double click on it and this will display the text uh, store exclamation point um, set the opacity to zero and I don't like to put this in the cookie itself so I'm gonna put this in the store button and this will load the score attribute so load attribute sorry I'm lost okay load attribute put it outside of everything so that just makes it when the scene loads this happens so game dot score so key game dot score I'm sorry key this will be the score key so there just score for the attribute game dot score okay now let's preview this go to our store same minus 10 go back okay now let's actually make the store button do something so go to our store double click on its button and it does take away 10 but we we want to benefit right when when you actually take away those 10 points so this will also change the attribute change attribute game dot uh, score plus to game dot score plus plus one because you can buy this multiple times as you're playing the game okay now we also want to save the attribute so if you exit the game you didn't waste those 10 points for nothing save attribute game dot score plus for key score score plus okay go home go to our initial scene and click on our score button where we loaded the other scene so the other score attribute now copy and paste that and change the key to score plus or whatever you named it your last key that you just created for game dot score plus now that should work go to the store buy it oh I didn't have enough sorry there store buy it takes away 10 now it actually plus a 2 but we also need to change the text that displays so back go to our store again okay took a while to load double click on our button and we also want to change the attribute that we created which is the display text so change attribute game dot plus two plus two that's what it's going to be called and save the attribute inside of the rule so attribute game dot score a attribute game dot plus for key uh, plus I'm just like naming it what it is called go back 
go to our initial scene double click on ours load attribute and by the way anything in the load attribute would go on your play play now button okay so load attribute just copy and paste the top thing but we need to change everything so the key will be plus and the attribute will be game dot plus. Now let's preview this. So I'm clicking, I go to our store, minus 10, back. Oh, there you go, plus two. Anyway guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe if you wanna see more tutorials like this. Uh, if you want to know more about me, check me out on my website and check me out on Twitter. They're both in the description down below. Anyway, that's it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.